Hey there everybody, Scabber Gaming here and welcome back to The Last Leviathan. Now we've done a few videos on The Last Leviathan and most of those incorporated workshop builds to get out there and destroy a few boats. And since the first episode I haven't really done anything with the creative side of things to actually build something. So that's where I'm going to go with this today. Now I'm not great at creating things. If you've seen my scrap mechanic videos and you'll know that already. <laughs> but I thought I'd give it a good go anyway and just see if we can we can build something semi-decent. Now, the first thing we want to do really is build a deck, I guess. And that kind of will allow us to sort of get the size of the boat sorted. Now, why won't that let me, there you go. It does like building it the wrong way. Now I think it's shift. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's a decent sized vessel and allows me enough space to build sort of the front end and stuff like that. It might even be a bit wide, but we'll see. We'll see. It's fine. Right, so how do you do decking? Hmm, I wonder. It doesn't look like something I can actually place. Isn't that a bit weird? What is that? <laughs> That's weird. Wooden decking that you can't place face down at all. That's off in a very weird way. Okay, let's try something else then. So we're still in hull. How do we build this up so that it's it's awesome? Let's do it like this. Boom! Right, okay, so now we have the basic block of the ship. That's kind of the size that we're looking for. So how do we make... How do we make... something that looks flipping awesome? Let's go like... that. And then I guess we need to start building it out. This is the bit that confuses me. Like, how do you build a ship that properly sticks out at the front? <laughs> and you'll see my problem. How does this work? I mean, really? <laughs> how does this front bit work? Someone tell me how. Because I've seen ships that are just fantastic that kind of looks right and then I guess I've got to try and try and get it to look good like that too how's that gonna work this is the bits these are the bits that confuse me guys how does this work really hmm maybe maybe let's see if we can get it to to even resemble something that might look <laughs> slightly good. <laughs> so I'm a little worried about it already. Let's see. There's not a lot of shapes. That's the problem. And you can't rotate them in a particularly great way. And yet some people have made these amazing boats out of this. And I'm really confused. I just, honestly, I don't know how you guys do it. It's amazing. Let's see. It's building it up in a way that makes sense that's difficult. Like, for instance, I can't even see inside there now. Boom, boom. What? Is it? <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> How was this made? How did someone get it to a point? Ooh. That kind of works. Let me see if I can do the same thing on the other side now. Can't remember how I did that bit. <laughs> it was because it was one of these. Now, or was it? No, it wasn't. Why did I even change it? Should have been this one, shouldn't it? There we go. Try this one. There. That's a subtle thing. That's kind of how I wanted it. Kind of. Now. 
this bit's not going to make any sense now, is it? How about if I put it on that side? Nope. Um, I think they need to work a little bit on their their ship making tools. <laughs> That's the way of making a boat. <laughs> Guys, how do you make a boat? Seriously. I'm not even joking. This thing's insanely difficult to make a keel. Because look, keel, front, back, okay? So you can't make it any bigger. But it's tiny. Look at it. You gotta have a bigger keel than that, surely. Hmm. I know the keels are supposed to sort of go on the bottom and sort of allow for for water drag and stuff like that, but it doesn't really fit on anything. Now, let me see. There's gotta be something else here. There's gotta be something that allows you to build a boat. I'll be damned. I don't know which <laughs> if it exists. Even with that bit on the bottom there, ugh, which you can't. You see what I mean? How does that even? Hmm. Not seeing it. There. I get that kind of worked, actually. <laughs> it kind of did. But now that doesn't. That doesn't. And neither do those two. So what I need to do is I need to make something that goes in there and there and then maybe slopes like that and like that. And then I need that slope back in there. So that's kind of my problem then, isn't it? You need to be like, you need to have slopes all the way down the side there. So I'll do that quick. And there we have it. That is the basic bow of the ship. And I'll put that on workshop. Okay, so the large ship base is now on the workshop. So if I go back, now, what I want to do is start building this bad ship up. <laughs> so that's a good ship up. Now, what do we do with that? Let's put a big old keel on the bottom because it's going to need it. Let's zoom in a little bit. Put one there. And then a little fin. And then another one there. Right, now that is rubbish. So, <laughs> I'm going to put the large fin there without the silliness, put large fin there, and then a keel. And then I'm going to put one at the front, and the reason for that is because it will just allow it that little bit more stability, I think, anyway. Right, now that that's done, we need some way of moving it. Now. I'd like a big rudder. Let's put a large rudder on this bad boy. So that one's way down there so it stays under the water. And I want, well, should I put a large propeller or a couple of mediums? So the power output on that is 100,000. The power output on this is 150,000. Um, and they cost 500. And we, so I think one large would probably be enough. Chuck that right there. And that should get me a fair amount of power I think. We'll we'll judge that a bit later. Now what we really want to do is we could put a large mast on. That's extra large. That's flipping huge. Look at that. That's way too big. <laughs> it's flipping huge. Right, okay, let's not do that. Instead, we'll put I know what we'll do. We need to build this up, don't we? So Let's put the hull. It's a shame you can't move this in the middle. If that was moved, then maybe this could look really, really cool. But instead of doing anything too silly, let's do this. So I'll put 
these going up because that's where the main deck at the back of the ship is going to be. <laughs> Again, you always end up with this bit in the middle that you've got to fill in somehow. Right, now, is there any, like, railings or anything? There aren't, are there? Which is a bit of a shame, really. Can we put these on without them looking... You can't get them to stand up. So maybe, ah, maybe the decking is what we should be using. A bit like this. Let's see how this is going to look. <laughs> oh, now it wants to lay down. Oh, you terrible thing. You are terrible. It's not going to let me put it on the corner. That's really quite annoying, to be honest. You can't make them match up, then it's just a bit silly. So how are we supposed to put something on there? Hmm. Like that? That looks ridiculous. <laughs> just saying. That looks really, really bad. So let's put a couple of those at the back to look a little bit badass. Right, now what do we need? We need like a staircase or something. Maybe something like this. Yeah, something a bit like that. So that people can get up and down. And then obviously we need something in here to make sure it's not too bad. Cool. Okay, so that's that's like the back end done. And that is normally where you would get the steering wheel. Steering wheel. You know what I mean. Something like that. <laughs> it's like cheating because we've got one down there and yet, and yet that's up there. So who cares? Now, what do we want to do? I think we want to put like a big mast up here. something like that okay so that's what is it doing the game's going completely mental all of a sudden i think it's because i'm asking it to move the mast around in weird positions right so a scope i should have put a scope up on that that would look really cool let's put it there so we've got a scope as well now right now we need to do something around the side of the boat so it doesn't look like a big floating mental case. Now what can we do? I think maybe something like these would look alright. Do you think they'd look alright? Let's have a look. Try and get this position just right. I don't know how I'm going to do the corners yet. It's a bit too limited for that. Must be a way that I can... I can make these corner bits look cool as well. See, that looks silly. How about... I attach it to the side? It doesn't want to let me, does it? Um... Something like that's going to look really out of place. It's it's getting to use these things in a way that allows you to sort of make it look good without looking really, really terrible. Hmm. I wonder... I wonder if there's something else that we can use for this. It's not going to be in weapons, is it? Would these look cool? No, they're way too big. What are you flipping out? Look at the size of that. <laughs> what do you guys use? When you want to make like a railing or something look really cool on the side of your boat, what do you guys use? Chuck it in the comments below because the game is a little bit limiting in, in the way that it, it allows you to place objects. 
I mean, so far it kind of looks all right, but you need to kind of build this front end up. Hmm, maybe if I make it sort of try and curve it up slightly, it won't look quite so bad. And for that one, I think I'm going to need to go to hull. I'm in hull already, just in the wrong place. It's so bad. These tools, they, they do need updating a bit. Right, okay, let's put something like... It's always going to be offside. And that's really annoying. Okay, so... I'll put that on there. And then put something really nasty on the front. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Now what I need is probably another mast for movement. And that's going to balance it out a little bit as well. I can't believe the extra large one is so flipping huge. <laughs> really do think that that's quite insane. Why is that not letting me put that down? Why, why is that in a bad place? Hmm. Okay. Can I put a small one on? No. Um, sail with boom. That looks ridiculous because it's way too small. Uh, extra massive? No, it doesn't like extra massive either. For some reason, I can't put it in front of the boat. I don't know why. I can put it to the side if I want to look really stupid. But <laughs> not to the front of this. <laughs> right, okay, so in that case, I'm going to take that one, that one way. And they are going to be... I'm going to take that way as well, and that way. Because it's time to add some Casey Pellers. And I'm going to take that away and add that on there that away and add one there and of course on the other side as well otherwise it's going to look really stupid right weapons I want some flipping huge cannons I don't want fire cannons because they burn your own ship down deck cannon 3 One, two, three, four. Okay, so do I do this one as well? Yes, of course we do. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of them. And lucky that one didn't didn't want to get ruined. So where's that going to go? Boom. Okay, so I need to put in some of this. Right. Armour. Let's armour these bad boys up. That's not looking too bad. Not too bad. Now Let's get some of these on the side. And on the back, I want some little ones. Cool. Okay, that's a little better. Happy with that. So, I can't put these on the front because there's no snap points, which is another unfortunate thing. Chuck these on there. Loads of armors. Right, what can we do with the front that allows us to shoot forwards? Hmm. Maybe we could fire from here. Like, straight down the boat. 
<laughs> do you think that's a great idea i think it's probably a terrible idea i think actually it would be better if we didn't have these bits at the front here and we put a couple of insane weapons on the front so more deck cannons i think the triple mini cannons are insane and should go at the front because they just allow some insane dps like damage bam 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 and i'm going to put some more here here and here attention your ship now passed into the wild ships class zone yes it did and that is my new warship it's pretty insane actually i'm going to test it should we test it let's save it first i'm going to save it as um Muck. Crazy cannons. So much crazy cannons. <laughs> right, Let's have a go at you, shall we? Set sail. Wonder if it'll even move. There is a lot of weight at the front, clearly. Will you move? I think actually we need to put some more propellers on the back. Well, it turns. <laughs> I bet that's some crazy damage. Right, so we need to... <laughs> What's this crab doing? Oi, crab buoy. Sod off. <laughs> Get off me boat, you mental case. There's another one trapped on me propeller. Nutbags. Right, we need some more power. So, movement. I'm going to put a big one there and a big one there. Now that has got to push the bow up. Right at right the front. The four. I don't know. Right. As long as I don't push myself underwater, I think it could be pretty cool. It sails. It's not the quickest ship in the world. But it's sailing pretty well, actually. It does go underwater a little bit. Can you still fire from the boat? <laughs> it does go underneath a little bit. But that's fine. Wow. Okay. Not the worst ship. It doesn't turn well, either. <laughs> so it's not too particularly great. <laughs> okay, so we've got a telescope as well where we can see all of the things. And it does look like we're actually on board the ship, so that's pretty sweet. Can you do anything? You can't fire from the telescope. That's a little unusual. It'd be nice if you could sort of zoom in and then fire from there. That would be cool. What a crazy ship. But there you go. And like I say, I've made... I'll make this available on the workshop as well in case you want to see how bad it is. But I've also made the the main... Um, like, decking the bottom half of the ship in case you want to build your own big ship. And then tell me just how bad mine is and post yours on the workshop. <laughs> if you like to do that, let me know. And then just tell me how what you think of this in the comments below. This is McCrazy Cannons. <laughs> if you like it, please click like and subscribe and come back for some more Last Leviathan another day. Thanks for watching and bye bye.